Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing the very much requested messy straight hair tutorial that I was sporting in this video right here. Um, it was the top comment on that video and a whole bunch of you guys have been tweeting to me asking for it and I decided that I'd show you. This is also the hairstyle that I wear pretty much all the time whenever I wear my hair straight because I'm not a fan of like really straight hair. I just don't really like it that much. I like it to have something to it. So I'm gonna stop rambling and let's get on to the tutorial. So to begin, my hair is rather messy, but I always like to brush it out just so I have like no knots that I'm straightening over because then that looks really gross in your hair. So I'm just brushing everything out here so that there aren't any tangles and then it's nice and smooth to work with. Now we go in with pretty much the star of the show whenever I do anything messy and that is dry shampoo. Even after I wash my hair like 10 minutes afterwards if it's dry I will still put dry shampoo in my hair. I don't know I'm just obsessed with dry shampoo. So I apply this onto my roots because it gives me a ton of volume. So I'm also just going to shake that out and now we're ready to begin straightening. The straightener here that I use is the Ultra Chi and I have to be completely honest I hate this straightener because like after like three hours my hair like gets wavy again and it's just a really bad straightener and I know that it's the straightener because I use my friend straightener sometimes and my hair stays pinned straight all day so this one is just really bad and I wouldn't recommend it but anyway um, just go ahead and straighten your hair if you guys can see I'm not very picky when it comes to straightening my hair I just kind of pick out some strands straighten them a couple of times and with this hairstyle, it's completely okay if they're not like perfectly pinned straight. It's actually a little bit better if they have some sort of wave to it. I'm, I'm not saying like make your hair kind of like wavy straight, but just like if it has a little bit of body to it, that's okay. So after you're done straightening your hair, we are ready to move on to the next step of making it even messier because I hate how it looks right now when it's perfectly straight. Now I go in with my favorite product ever, and this is the dry shampoo. I forgot to say, it's the Not Your Mother's dry shampoo, which is my favorite right now. But I just put this on my roots throughout the ends of my hair, and really just tossle my hair around with this product in it, because I feel like this really helps it get nice and messy, but it also doesn't make it feel messy like the next product we're about to use. It has like a feel to it that stays in your hair, but this just gives it an all-around messy look without feeling like it's messy. This next product is the L'Oreal Hair Putty and I'm going to go in with this product and it is very much like I would I would honestly describe it as like a putty. It's like a gel cream kind of consistency. It's kind of weird but I like to put this onto my fingers and then distribute it first off into the roots to make up front messy and then I also like to bring it down onto the ends of my hair and kind of separate those pieces a little bit and just make that very tangly looking almost but it won't be tangly in your hair I promise it just looks that way this is also a good way to make your hair look wind blown I guess that's how you would say it without having any wind like you can style your hair as if the wind was blowing on it and this product would make it stay like that and then I also like to go in with this product and individually pick out pieces of hair and kind of twist them together so that it's a very PC and messy hairstyle And the last step is to keep everything in place by spraying some hairspray into my hair. This will be the final step to make it look more windblown, more messy, and just keep it all in place. So that's how you get messy, straight hair. I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to do more hair tutorials. And also, I'm starting my back to school series very soon, so be sure you guys are on the lookout for that. But anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I upload every Thursday, so be sure that you guys are subscribed so you don't miss another video of mine. And also, stay updated with me in between each upload by following me on my social media links such as Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. They are all linked down below, like always, and they are all at MacUp101, except for Tumblr, which is MacUp101.tumblr.com. But anyway, make sure you guys are subscribed, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye!